Now it's the hover train, designed to travel at 300 miles an hour. Already its advanced technology has excited the interest of the United States, Japan, and other countries all around the world. It's already successfully completed a test run at 104 miles an hour, and even the economics of its commercial use have been examined and found competitive. It looks like another British breakthrough. But the acts that chopped down British inventions like the laser beam and the TR2 and now hovers over Concord looks set to strike again, leaving some other country, of course, to pick up the pieces. The question is, can we afford it? Or should it be, can we afford not to afford it?